Hello, today let's uh, create an attack animations. So the way we're gonna go about it is we're gonna use uh, the body controller, like uh, the body part controller from previous uh, tutorials. Now, okay, so this is fairly simple with it. So let's actually just do if we press uh, the key Q, for example, uh, input get key, and let's say key code.e, we got a attack with our uh, right hand. So, hand right, so yeah, this one, the limb, and we're gonna say set position to some vector to right times five. And let's see the effect. And it looks something like this. Okay, so now let's just do the same thing, but uh, let's make it follow our mouse. So first of all, let's actually create void start and uh, we need to get the camera so camera a uh, cam let's say cam equals to camera dot main so it would work as long as our uh, camera is tagged as main camera so in our case it's tagged and now we get the camera uh, it's advised not to actually use camera.main like in the update because it's, it uses the find game object with tag and it's uh, pretty expensive so now let's say var dir is gonna be a cam.screen to world pose and let's say input input dot mouse position and we're gonna uh, remove our actual position and let's set it here so now we gotta follow the mouse with our hand let's see how it looks so yeah works just fine but uh, as you can see it's kind of slow and not very responsive so if we want to add some force let's just create a new variable in here and say added force and let's actually do it added force is gonna be 1f now here we wanna say it's gonna be 1f as long as we don't set it and this added force is gonna be equal to what we pass uh, here we're gonna say added force is equal to 1 and here we're gonna just multiply by added force and let's go to stickman controller and pass some value like five now let's see how it looks and yeah it looks just fine now we can try to go here and actually attack him or whatever it's called uh, so now let's add some uh, damage or stuff like this uh, but first of all let's just do the same thing for our second hand and let's set it to Q and let's set to the left hand now if uh, you want to know how I made this wall uh, limb class I actually have another tutorial where I made it uh, so I'll link it in the description now okay uh, now we want to have some uh, way to uh, get damage so let's create a new script let's call it uh, health and this is gonna be really simple uh, just say something like public uh, float health and mm, should be fine 
No. Uh, let's actually say void uh, is dead. And public bool dead is equal to false. And here true now. Let's say void a uh, uh, damage res receive damage. I'm not sure if it's actually spelled like this. Whatever. Uh, I guess it's gonna be. Eh. Let's call it get damage. Whatever. Now uh, float uh, damage. And in here, let's say health minus damage. And if health is less than zero, let's say it's dead now. Uh, all this is, uh, uh, we want to leave it to private. And same here. Now make it show an inspector. Serialized field, yeah. Serialized field and the same here. Okay, now let's just drop uh, whatever. Now let's just drop uh, health in here. So this is the second stickman. Let's set the health to I don't know 100. And uh, now let's create another script and make it a uh, I don't know, uh, damaging, like, well, let's call it weapon or whatever. Uh, and this one's gonna be pretty damn simple. In here, we would say public uh, void on collision enter to D. We just want to say if collision dot relative velocity is greater than so if collision dot relative velocity is greater than dot square magnitude greater than let's say 10 would say debug dot log uh, great damage or something. Now let's do public float damage multiplier and let's set it to let's say 10. Oh, actually, let's make it 2 and let's put it on our long hand. Uh, let's go. If I hit him, I get all those messages. Now, in fact, I want to change something. I want it to be magnitude. And um, I would say greater than 25 now. But here, let's say mag. And this would be the actual magnitude because I would use it to do damage. Now, Okay, in here we would say if, let's say var and health, var and health would be collision dot get com, collision dot game object dot find get component in children and it's gonna be, what the hell? Uh, the health now if there is health if health you would say health dot 
uh, get damage and let's say the damage multiplier should be in parent right now now we hit him and he actually get damage now we can also maybe say uh, multiplied by the magnitude now really fast i want to do something like uh, kill the stickman when the hp is zero so let's say we gotta have stickman controller controller and uh, this should be a small c and void void start now controller is gonna be just get component and let's get the stickman controller show in here we would want to say our stickman gotta have something like public bool is dead and let's set it to false actually and huh nope not like this let's actually create void kill and so mm, and here we would say private bull is dead and in here let's say if is dead just return um so right now our hip doesn't work and in here it say is that is true and and dot left is resting and i mean it should be the legs so true and the dot right resting is true and we forgot to say controller dot kill now Let's actually make the hand go back and forth. Let's make in here var reverse. It's gonna be one. And if input dot get key, and I would say key code r. Uh, let's say reverse is gonna be minus one and here let's say reverse and the same here so okay so let's test it out so we can do this stuff and let's see if we actually can deal damage and okay now he's dead and let's try to pick some weapons and see how it looks with our second hand so we get this animation basically not the perfect but it's just the idea now i will try to make a new video where i create an ai that fight each other and hopefully it will go well so We'll do some gladiator shit and yeah, I hope I will be able to do this. So see you next time and thank you for watching.